The Amalgamated Union of Motor Mechanics and Technicians of Nigeria, OMATAN, says it will train 55,500 mechanics and technicians in the conversion of petrol-powered vehicles to compressed natural gas, CNG. Mr. Oseni Suleiman, the union's national president, made the pledge in Abuja during the official launching of the union. Suleiman said the union had independently trained 100 males and females on conversion from petrol energy engines to compressed natural gas as part of efforts to support the federal government. We shall be training our artisans in 100 batches in partnership with Energy Transition Company, ETC. And Omaton and ETC are set to begin the training of 55,000. 55,500 artisans at 1,500 artisans per state and the FCT. In line with this preparation, Omaton, in partnership with Energy Transition Company, have established a pivotal training center within Apo Mechanics Estate, which is also built to be commissioned tomorrow, inshallah. This commissioning shall be extended a little bit because of some facilities. On the foregoing, therefore, we respectfully seek the support of the federal government, the FCT administration, the NADDC, ITF, DRTS, all relevant agencies, corporate individuals, and the general public on these laudable projects. As part of our contribution to support the federal government Omaton has independently trained 100 Nigerian artisans, Nigerian youths, male and female. <laughs> they have trained them on conversion from petrol energy engines to compressed natural gas, CNG. The training, which commenced since 19th of March 2024, was possible through the support of the Nigerian Armed Forces which provided us with its facility at Afeme Mechatronics Workshop at Mogadishu Cantonment, Abuja, for the first batch of 50 participants, and the Federal Science and Technical College, Uruzo, Abuja, which provided us with their training facilities for the second batch of 50 participants. However, we have taken the 100 trainees as the first batch, and the graduates shall be presented with their certificates today. We in Omaton have keyed into the Renew Hope agenda of His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Shinobu's administration with maximum vigor. We have appointed Mr. President himself as the Grand Patron of Omaton. Speaking, Al Haji Yusuf Othman, National President of the Nigerian Association of Road Transport Owners, NARTO, said the creation of Omaton was a milestone for professionals and the entire transportation sector in Nigeria. The transportation industry is evolving rapidly with new technologies. You can testify the president has said it, the chairman has said it. Innovations and methodologies emerging every day. Just yesterday, we are in digital. 15, 20 years back, our vehicles are left-hand side. I mean right-hand side. Today we are on the left hand. Another 15 years back, we are using uh, gear, uh, ordinary gear vehicle. Today is uh, automatic gear. 10, five years ago, we are using petrol. Today we are changing to CNG. So this to show you that it is definitely a new, innovative, and new technologies and methodologies emerging every day. As stakeholders in this sector, it is crucial to embrace these changes with open arms and a commitment to continuous learning and improvement. You need to go on training, learning all the time so that you adopt to the new changes. Othman, who was represented by the former NATO national president, Mr. Kasim Batea, urged the union to maintain the highest standards of professionalism, ethics, and excellence in all that its members would do. The future of our industry depends on our ability to effectively adopt, innovate, and collaborate together. 
In this regard, I want to assure you that Nigerian Association of Road Transport Owners, NATO, will be committed to supporting the amalgamated union of motor mechanics and technicians of Nigeria in every possible way we can do. <laughs> we recognize the vital role that you play in the maintenance and efficiency of our vehicles and equipment. Your success is our success. Your failure is our failure. So we, are, we have to work together. We can achieve new heights of excellence in the transportation sector once we are together. We own the vehicles and you own us. Today's lunch is not just a celebration of the union's formation, but also a call to action for every member of this union. It is a call to work together, to uplift one another, and to ensure that the standard of our profession are unheld and respected by every organ of government and every individual of Nigeria.